Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 24th of November. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather becoming active. In coming days, have a chance of strong storms late tomorrow and tomorrow night. Then more storms before the upcoming weekend is over and much colder next week. Here we go. Let's talk about things. This is the current upper air look across the country. Got a trough coming into the Plain States, producing some active weather there. But around here, just gorgeous. Lots of sunshine today with a few high clouds around. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s, not too far from seasonal averages for this time of the year. There's the watch warning map. We've got wind advisories for parts of the Mid-South, including Memphis in advance of the storm system out there. A few scattered winter weather advisories up north. And over Oklahoma, a severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect until 9 o'clock tonight. Got a risk of severe storms in that area into parts of Missouri, Arkansas, and northern Louisiana through tonight. And then tomorrow, a marginal risk from parts of the Deep South up into the Ohio Valley. Includes most of north and central Alabama. And we'll talk more about this in just a moment as we go through modeling. In day three, which is Thanksgiving, Thursday. Uh, there could be a clap of thunder somewhere for the southern half of the state, but we think north Alabama for the most part will be dry. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Some pretty big numbers down here in the southern U.S. Rain amounts between really two and five inches for much of Alabama. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Tropics, the season winding down. We have that little impulse in the middle of the Atlantic, southeast of Bermuda. Just a very low chance of that becoming tropical. The Gulf of Mexico stays nice and quiet. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, ballot tomorrow at 3. You can see the short wave lifting out of the Plain States, passing north of here. A surface low is south of Chicago, west of Indianapolis, with a trailing front down to Memphis. And we'll have a batch of showers and storms coming in in advance of that. Uh, maybe some rain as early as afternoon tomorrow. The front coming through tomorrow night. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Uh, that front coming into uh, northwest Alabama with a band of showers and storms. We'll check the severe weather parameters. First off, shear, yes, a lot of that, which is typical for these systems this time of the year. And the instability values have come up a little bit. And there just might be a little sweet spot in there where you've got the, a decent combination of shear and instability. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter, now up to two units over West Alabama around Tuscaloosa. So uh, as we look at the situation now, we might want to mention an outside risk of a brief isolated tornado tomorrow evening, along with a chance of some small hail and strong winds. You always have to watch these this time of the year. They can be surprising. So showers and storms tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. The high tomorrow should be in the low 70s. Thanksgiving, the front will be stalling out somewhere across the central part of the state. Like we've talked about, the better chance of showers on Thanksgiving Day should be over the southern half of the state. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston North, probably a dry day. Uh, maybe a few peaks of sun. A lot of clouds around. The high will be in the low to mid 70s on Thanksgiving. This is... Friday, and a wave forms on the front. This thing's going to be kind of wavy. It's going to meander back and forth, and as a wave comes in, rain will be increasing Friday afternoon and Friday night. Uh, the high Friday should be in the 70s, and then as that wave passes, the front gets a nudge southward again, and look here. The GFS now suggesting the front on Saturday could be all the way down into deep south Alabama, and really the European looking the same. So if these uh, new ideas verify, then the Iron Bowl will be dry. On Saturday should be uh, nice with temperatures in the 60s for the ball game. And then Sunday, here comes the next wave on the front. And this would be just a, a soaking rain. And if the GFS is right, the surface low would be over South Alabama in the northern part of the state. Cool, stable temperatures only in the 50s with no severe weather. But the Europeans got the surface low that's near Tupelo. This is Sunday afternoon at three. Then it moves up into Tennessee over the Cumberland Plateau Sunday night. And that might bring some strong storms. But one way or the other, Sunday looking awfully wet and maybe stormy, and we'll get much better clarity as we get closer to the weekend on this. And then Monday, the system is uh, winding up over Pennsylvania, deepening, and look at the cold air rolling in behind that thing. Uh, Monday is going to be a cold day. 
If this verifies, uh, parts of North Alabama could stay in the 30s all day with a strong north wind. Easily the coldest so far this season. And this is a week from today, Tuesday, December 1st. Big trough on the East Coast. We're cold and dry. We'll be down in the low and mid-20s. Coldest morning of the season, easily, for most locations. And a high would be in the 40s. How about that? So uh, we'll go out to the middle of the week. This is Wednesday night of next week. And a little impulse comes by. And this is suggesting maybe a few sprinkles or maybe a few flurries up near the Tennessee state line. But moisture very limited, not much to that. And this is 10 days out, Friday of next week, the 4th, again troughing on the East Coast. And again, we're pretty cool and dry. Let's just go right to the snow look here. We don't show this in the summertime, do we? This is the European Ensemble. And out of the 50 members, about a dozen suggest maybe a snowflake or two at some point in the period December 1st through December 9th. Most members don't show any snow, but just an interesting signal there. So this is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about three inches over the next 15 days. Temperatures, you can see that big steady drop. And again, Monday, the National Blend of Models has 50. But again, the deterministic output suggesting we might be in the 30s on Monday. Those numbers could come down even more. And the CPC outlook, this is for December 2nd through the 8th. They're getting on to the idea now. Temperatures across the Deep South below average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.